Sorry for the interruption there, folks. So, we're on the raft, getting back to try to get into the well. Once we get to the tower, the dam has already burst at this point. So the time frame that we're working in is getting smaller as we go. I really feel like it's worth it to try to get past that first element and then wait for the very end to get past the other ones that will disappear once the tower falls over. To keep reminding myself, I do not have a jetpack right now. Okay, going back to the elevator, getting back down, trying to get past that owlman. Hopefully I'll have time to read just that last reel. It's not there. Okay, I need to... He's not going to come down here, is he? Fuck, I hope he doesn't come down here. Okay, good. That's our safety zone. So we need to go down these stairs. Actually, you know what? Let's just hang out here and just watch to see them die, because they're probably going to die off in a moment. see them yet. But I will definitely hear it when they die. So I'll be able to run once that happens. Man, this is a little bit stressful. Now the only problem with doing it this way, this is probably not the only way you could do this. You could probably stealth your way through 
if you just memorize the layout and you can are able to navigate it while mostly blind, you could probably walk through. And if you're lucky, they won't walk into you. You won't accidentally collide into them while you're doing it. see the shadow of one in the distance there. Might as well wait for them here. It's a little stressful though because I don't know how long how long I have to wait. There's no there's no surefire way to know unless I'm actually keeping track with the timer. And that kinda takes the fun out of it. That's like you're you're that feels a little metagamey. Excuse me. It sounds a little staticky, doesn't it? I think that's supposed to sound like that. Maybe the implication is that the sound design in this virtual reality just has a little bit of background static. So, we know that the Owlman blocked the signal from the Eye of the Universe. But they likely did that before the Nomai heard the signal. So maybe the Eye of, maybe the Eye of the Universe was able to just let out, just squeak out a little bit of a signal, just enough for the Nomai to hear, to bring them here. Or the, the Nomai that arrived in the system heard that signal just at the moment before the Owlman sealed it off. They could have coincided. We don't know for sure if they... Oh, there we go. Never to open these up. Pictures, but they're boarded up. Are they supposed to look like that? Maybe they're not supposed to look like that, but. Alright, let's hurry up down. We should have a little bit more time than we did before, so... Possibly... Able to check all three, just in case I accidentally pick the wrong ones. Yeah, there's nothing over here, right? Yeah, didn't think there would be. Yeah, let me up, let me up. I think that... Is this the one that we didn't see? see it all the way. Or did we? Yeah, I think we saw it all, all the way. That just means if you... If they die... If they get recalled... Okay, this is the one we haven't seen yet.
Brain activity. Okay, so that means that's how they... They didn't just decide to die and give up and go into virtual reality. That's how they decided that's their only way to live forever. Because they're their physical bodies don't matter once they're in the virtual world. We kind of knew that already, but at least now we know we have it kind of in written form. That doesn't mean anything to us about the vault, though. You know what? Let's, let's, let's have a seat by sleep while we ponder some of this out. And I need to clean the trackball on my mouse. So, basically, they decided it wasn't... The dream world was a way for them to cheat death, in a way. The problem was, they couldn't ever be recalled to their dead body because they would just die. They would stay dead kind of calls into question if they're even alive in the first place in the virtual world. Like, is that their real self? Or is it like an AI copy? Kind of like in Soma. I don't know. Is it just their virtual world deciding how they should act and then giving them sensory input based on that? Because, I mean, if they're trying to get recalled to a dead brain, it's not the brain that's in control of them before they get recalled. And it doesn't seem to indicate that they can be recalled to somebody else's brain. They can't use that technology to swap bodies. We'll see, check the ship's log. Maybe there's an, some sort of observation we didn't quite pick up on. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near Grand Fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. Wait. <clears throat> I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep. And the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. Maybe I'm missing something. Did they both have the same bearer? Is that what that means? I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. That is going to be important. I kind of feel like I just needed to look through my video to get a closer look. Alright, you know what? We're gonna check something out here. This is going to be kind of meta, but I still want to do it anyway. Oh, shoot. These files have been saving to the wrong file. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording. There we go. Ah, 
can I? Track one. Can I even record this? Or put this on stream? No, it doesn't appear that it can. The OBS doesn't have the ability to do that for me right now. Okay, so I'm just going to look through, and I'm just going to give you the play-by-play -play of what I'm seeing. Okay, this is the one we haven't seen yet. <laughs> yeah, you're hearing me. I'm looking at the video that I just made. Okay, so there is... So, one inhabitant holding an unlit artifact with a brain scan beside him, sitting down at a fire, going to sleep. Brain activity... Brain unlights itself in the artifact. Activity. Oh, so that's what happened. It wasn't planned. The... The bearer of the... Okay, so the second artifact was hold, held by a different person, was held by the older Alman. The Alman, like, died just as they got into the circle and was still holding on to their artifact as they died. And then their artifact got lit, and then they got transported to the virtual world all the same. Okay, and that's that. So does that mean if I die beside a fire? Oh. Because the other slide reel that I saw, it showed them... Okay, this is the same one. The other slide reel that I saw was them trying okay, to so use an alarm bell. That's how they... So, I actually have to try to kill myself beside one of those fires. Is basically what that... It's, it is basically what that means. Let's do it. This is... For, for a game where you spend a lot of time and dying to make progress, this is probably the first time where you die and you're continuing to make progress in the same loop. If my theory is correct, if I'm understanding the purpose of this correctly, so I don't want to go to sleep next to a fire, I want to die. Probably due to the- f oof. <laughs> I crashed into the stranger. And I forgot to put on my spacesuit. And I'm pretty sure the cockpit for my ship just broke off. So I was exposed to space. <gasps> Been a while since I heard that. Wake up gasp. There's the Nomai probe. Where's my frame rate? My frame rate's not great. Wonder why. Okay, it's at 60 now. It had dropped down for a moment there for some reason. I don't know if that was because of the network or because of something else. I should try to keep an eye on that. So that means 
I don't have to die after getting in there. I can just die right before getting in there. As far as the fi the green fire is concerned, dying. What happens if I die inside the bell? Hmm. But regardless, I have to die while holding an artifact. At the green at the fire. So I must be at the fire and holding an artifact. And before I do that, let us open that door and do some other stuff. Because I don't know if it's necessary or not. But it doesn't take very long to do, so we might as well do it. Doop, doop. And you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna do the tower. We don't even need to do the tower, like. We need to go to any loading area, so we might as well just go straight for the cliffside. Yeah. So we don't need to go back to the tower or the well. I don't think. Should I meditate? Because we need to go to that hull breach and skip our way to there. Yeah, let's meditate. Just to save us potentially a couple of minutes that we might need. What do we need them for? I do not know. But maybe we will find out. Because, like, it's, it's neat because I have played games before where you need to die to make progress. First and foremost that comes to mind is Planescape Torment. That is a cool game. I should probably be, I should play that game on stream at some point. So I never finished that. That would be cool, a cool game to play on stream. The basic premise of that is you are an immortal and you wake up with no memories. And you're not really sure why you're immortal. But you get a ghost of your wife asking you to die so that you can be with her. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's made clear that it's your wife at the beginning. I guess it's kind of like Shadow of Mordor in that way, but not really. Shadow of Mordor if it was like if it was Baldur's Gate instead of being like Assassin's Creed. Why did I go back here again? This is exactly the spot I said I would not go to. Okay. thrusters are messed up. Meditate until next room. I apologize for anyone getting frustrated by that. I want to try to do this perfectly the first time. Even though I don't know what I'm trying to do, but... Maybe having an intact ship would be important. Excuse to eat my chips. Who's to say? Who could possibly know? Alright, I'm gonna 
do a little spin. Okay, that is... That is the angle we want. I think. On the left. We're almost there. Oops, sideways. There. Settle down. There we go. Thank you, ship. grab this artifact. I didn't even really care about having this artifact in particular, it's just, it just happened to be the one that was nearby. Wait, which way are we going? This way? Yeah. That side staircase was the, obs the observation lounge for these experiments. Understanding correctly, the alarm wells won't wake me up if I die by the fire. <sighs> There's been times I meditated by the fire before. I wonder if that treated me the same treated it the same as if I died. Regardless. Get through this area. So we need to get down below. So we can go through the loading area. And then once we get to the loading area, I think we have all of the tools that we need to open that vault. We might not. That's possible. And I'm not sure how much left there is to do once we open the vault. It'll most likely give us some other type of task. Who knows? it'll just tell us, oh, you need to do this on your final loop to do, to get the real, the true game over. The true, true ending. Otherwise, you just get the, the endings that you got beforehand. Before the DLC was involved. Can I jump over that railing? No, I have to get over there. All their furniture is so tall. Because they're tall. So it makes sense. Okay. 
I'm not sure how to feel, because I don't know if this is correct what I'm about to do, but I feel like I have to try it this way. What I'm thinking is that there is an invisible bridge. And there's an alarm that's just going to go off no matter what. And the only way to defeat that alarm is just to do what I did and die beside the fire. I don't think meditating is the same as dying. In the game logic, that wouldn't make sense. It's not like you, you like crunch your brain off when you die. Or I mean, when you meditate. This is a strange area because it feels like it has serves a purpose more than, like it serves a purpose other than what I've just seen so far. But maybe it's just more there to be a hint. That's uh, because I mean, this area has to exist. just to be a place for you to explore, I guess. Even if you don't see the immediate... Even if you don't see the use for it, it's hinted at as a red herring. And then it turns out you're gonna... Well, what am I doing? I should be going to the loading screen. There we go. Artifact, walk away. Okay, so. I think I want to keep my artifact with me. For now. But we're gonna solve. That's the first thing. It's neat that it's like the way to f defeat the final challenge is to solve, is to find the codes that allow you to beat these weird issues, but the codes don't actually exist. So you have to do it, you can't do it the legit way. The game prevents you from doing it the legit way, it seems like. Is this going to be the same cutscene as before? I feel like it is. Mhm, mm yeah, so this is the same one. This is to show you how to get through, that you can get through that mural. Hmm. I was thinking there was a table there, but it's, I'd like a chest. Then your dude waits. The lights turn off, one by one. I didn't quite get that the lights were turning off one by one, which implies it's not that you cut power altogether. Well, let's try this. Yeah, I'm dead. So the alarm bells do nothing for me. So what is the end game if I'm if I'm dead on the outside world? Will this tell me something important that I can use to actually do the real opening? Oh yeah, invisible bridge. I'm thinking. What? Oh.
Let's light some candles. Okay. Where did the invisible... Where's this bridge start? How do I get up there? So you actually have to put in the code here. It's just not what you would expect. Can I extinguish without? No. I'm guessing I need the artifact. But now that the bridge, the invisible bridge is in place, that's fine. Okay. So what are we going to learn? Is this going to re release the eye signal that's been sealed up this all whole time and make something happen? Or is it going to give me a new task? So I can't exactly go to the vessel now since I have a dead body on the outside. into a hallway. And I'm not sure how connected to the real vault this is either. Is this actually the real vault or is this just a, like a, a metaphor that they're using? Solanum no moment. Oh. Is this how you're going to communicate? Okay. He has a broken antler. We have seen him before in these pictures. What did he do? Was he the one that destroyed the controls? He released the eye signal for just a moment. And then they are all they all realize what happened. And then they put him in there. 
That's why the vault is sitting in front of a green fire, because it's his green fire that he's sleeping in front of. That's... That's the brief moment that caused the Nomai to arrive to the solar system. Already holding artifact. Take the vision torch. Now I'm telling him my story. And I'm telling him that they're all dead on the outside. spacefaring technology, started to learn about the Nomai. I wonder if that's, no, that's supposed to be Spot Feldspar, I'm thinking. And that's our character with Hal, learning their language. happy or sad about that. Give, I'll give it back. So I probably need to hang on to this artifact. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm probably not allowed to follow him. If I was allowed to follow him, the game would want me to follow him. Unless there's some secret bonus ending. What are we doing here? What's the plan? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna stay here forever, because the world is still about to end. Asking me to go with him?
I mean, fuck it, why not? What happens if we go this way? I can't leave now, though. That's the only thing. But at least now I know that he's in here, I guess. Here. What do you want? What do you want? What? <laughs> nope. You don't know what you want right now, do you? You probably don't know why I'm up this late. Hey, you. Hey, you. What's up? Aw, oh, you just want some attention. You're a good girl. I'll give you some more attention in a little bit, okay? I'm getting close to done. Here you go. Okay, so now what? What am I supposed to do now? Do I try to leave? I guess I'll go back up to his vault. What is the game telling me to do right now? Because I thought it wanted me to get on this raft, but obviously... It's... It's not gonna happen that way. In that vision, it was showing me wearing my spacesuit too, so... He's dead, probably, and I'm dead. So we're not exactly going to leave. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the end. Because if he's dead, then the only real way for him to leave is for me to fabricate kind of fabricate him the same way I fabricated Solanum. At the, at, you know, at the eye of the universe. I'm gonna look around a little bit more, because I don't know if I fully a uh, complete... Con I'm not sure if I fully achieved my objective. But I mean, all I did was, for, for the Solanum thing, all I did was meet her. And then I was able to fabricate her at the end. I say fabricate her, because I'm not really sure if you're actually bringing her back from the dead. Or if it's just like, it's just her like imprint on your memories that's surviving. There's a lot of discussion about that in the fan communities of this game. Okay, hold it. Alright, some stuff went down. If we're gonna do any more exploring, then this is the only way we can really go. It's so goofy that that's in the intended way to figure this out, because it feels like such a video game glitch sort of thing. Let's walk away, see if there's something we can easily detect. We'll go to that one. I don't know if there's anything new for us there, but we might as well check it out. 
because we have visited this spot already. And the ironic thing is... He released the signal for the Eye of the... I'm saying he, but I don't know if it's a he or not. That creature... That person... Entity... Released the eye... The signal for the Eye of the Universe. Just temporarily. Just long enough for the no mind to notice. And now, because of that... He's going to be the only member of his race that actually gets out of here in a way. I think that's what the implication is. So, let's see what happens if we beat the game now. Whoa, whoa, interesting. That was weird. That was like... I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but it was like the elevator just phased out of existence, and I just fell out. Because it was the end of... it was the end of the loop. So I was gonna die either way, but it was just... that was a kind of anticlimactic way to go. <gasps> Alright, so... We've got at least two loops that we need to do. I could do it in one, but it's easy to mess it up. So I'd rather just do it right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Dark Bramble. We're going to locate the vessel. And then we're going to end the loop. Not going back to the stranger. We are going to Dark Bramble. Still have the stranger selected in the maps. Ooh. Let's fix that. What do we need? Landing camera, landing gear, artificial gravity, porthole. never use the landing camera. Did we select the dark bramble? Yes, we did. Okay, good. Let us go. Where are we, dark bramble? Oh, there we are. And that's Gunner. And hopefully not crash into the Ash Twin project while we're- the Ash Twin while we're there. How close are we to the sun? Oh, we got a little bit closer than I realized. Alright. It's gonna be interesting going back to the Dark Bramble. Again. It's been so long. It's been so long since we saw those anglerfish. I am going in here fully expecting that we've achieved everything that we need to achieve at the stranger. Well, we're here at Dark Bramble. Let's just look for the vessel. Oh, I never got the signal for the escape pods, haven't I? Okay, we'll go here. Hopefully this isn't an anglerfish that we're looking at right now. I didn't realize there was one right here. Where'd you go, Nova? What you doing? Okay, so that's where we need to go. Move a little bit further away. 
slowly turn towards it. Just kind of... Okay, time to go. Oh, no. Did I go on the wrong one? This is just the one with a giant anglerfish in it. Let's not go towards it. Wait, what? Fuck me. Alright. Uh, we are escaping. Okay, you know what? Forget the dark ramble thing. We're just gonna leave. Scratch that plan. It's been a while since I've done that. I didn't... I... There was a certain point where I stopped being scared of the anglerfish, but... Hey, quantum moon. Alright, let's look at the ship log, because we meant to do that earlier. Wait. There's more to explore the reservoir. Sealed vault. I met one of the stranger's inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions that they took that resulted in their inter internal confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. Let's check out the reservoir. What? Alright, I'm gonna go back to the stranger. Twenty-nine kilometers away. We're not that late into the loop. I'm doing that. It is two o'clock right now in the app. Two o'clock in the morning. I was gonna say two o'clock in the afternoon. That is definitely not the case. All right. Let's figure out what we're missing at the reservoir. The shortcut to the reservoir is this elevator. Woo! Coming in hot. Yeah, I kind of cowered it over a dark ramble, but the way that one anglerfish followed me to the exit, I wouldn't have been able. I wouldn't have been able to re-enter. for the beginning phase. I think Nova wants me to tuck her in, so I'm gonna take like a two minute break. I'm gonna take a two minute break and I will be right back. Camera on the right side. So, we've had a pretty heavy night so far. Maybe not as heavy as some of the other sessions, but 
minutes. OBS says we've been streaming for... No, we've been recording for 48 minutes. We've been streaming for two hours and 20 minutes almost. That's okay. All right, so let's try to explore the reservoir a little bit. I don't know if this area that we're in now counts as part of the reservoir. Is there anything up here that we need? down below that we should be looking at? This goes deep. I mean, probably not that deep, but still. Deeper than I would have expected. Maybe it just seems that way because the dam hasn't burst yet. Take a look in here. See if there's anything that we missed. Error unknown language. Alright, so. Planet. Fire mask, fire mask. There's a mask, fire, mask, fire. It's neither of those. What was it? Is that the, s the sun? It is the sun, okay. Mask fire, mask fire. just it's not just there to pull the stranger actually it might not even be there to pull the stranger at all it might be just there to block the eye signal and the pulling might be done by something else doesn't appear to be anything that we can do here. Will this screen show me any different anything different at the end of the loop? Or is the thing that I'm missing somewhere totally different? If I can't really figure it out. I'll probably still just go to the end of the game. As originally planned. The only reason I came back here is because there's still more to explore. This is a projector room.
There's no reels at all, though. Is there? There's this part of that building that's fallen over. Is there gonna be a hidden reel here somewhere? Like, it's gonna be just one reel. Like, buried almost under- like, buried under the house. Oh, there goes the dam. Oh, I can feel it pulling on me. Well, you know what? That's fine. Or is it fine? I was gonna say, maybe it'll be easier to do it. To explore without the water so high. But now the water is just pulling on me. Okay, there we go. Maybe there isn't some last final reel. Oh man, it's gonna be difficult to get back up. We'll go the long way around. There we go. I was thinking, since that was a projector room, maybe there's some hidden reel associated with it. But now that I'm looking around, I either that is not the case, or it's just very cleverly hidden. Or it's something super obvious and I'm just being a dummy. There's shelves here, too. Same types of shelves that they use for reels. They don't see any. And that is clearly part of the building that used to be attached to the projector house. Which is usually the case. Like, the projector house is connected to a room or another building that has that houses the reels. <laughs> Meanwhile, this projector house doesn't appear to have any reels. What's up with that? Is there any upstairs? Wasn't even close, game. You're just giving me pity points now. Wait. Wait, there's one there. How did I miss that? This is the last one. Okay, so this is this is the one reel that I never found. I probably I've already seen the completed version of this. I think that might be what he showed me with his vision wand. 
But let's take a look anyway. Just for the just for the cheapos. So this is showing the story of how the prisoner ended up in the vault. Ship log updated, okay. Yeah, so I never saw that one. Okay. We're done. We're done the stranger then. Now we just need to see the ending. So, let's swing by the, no, we'll swing by the Hourglass Twins, just to quickly get the signal for, you know, the, dis the Distress Beacon. We'll find the Numai Grave, get to the vessel. And then we'll have that marked on our map for the next loop when we finish the game. I realize we're pretty much short-circuiting most of the game, but I don't feel like we're missing out on anything like important that I haven't already gotten on previous playthroughs. I'm not expecting there to be any ma significant changes. I could be totally off base in that, and I'll be interested to find out if there are any large changes in the parts of the game that have nothing to do with The Stranger, post-DLC. To Ooh, okay. I was trying to avoid crashing into the Ash Twin and then I crashed into Ember Twin. That's okay. We're just here for one purpose and one purpose only. But before we do that, let's repair. Autopilot and cockpit. That could be worse. Suit. to get out? I'm gonna have to get out, I think. Or we just do that. Change frequency. No, I'll have to get out. Distress beacon. There we go. We got one of the distress beacons. Now, let's go to Dark Bramble. Already going this way, so we'll slingshot around the sun. Ooh, what did we go by? <laughs> did we just skim the atmosphere of another planet? We might have skimmed the atmosphere of Ash Twin just for a moment.
firing retro rockets. Oh, there's the Whitehall station. Man, I miss play I missed playing this game. There's a lot of great stuff about this game. It just has a nice feel when you're moving in between planets. You kind of lose that when the stranger is your only real destination in between deaths or in between loops. attention. We'll swoop around here. I don't think he knows where we are. We, he just heard us when we were thrusting. Grazing. Okay. Still doesn't hear us. Which is cool. spins around. Probably depends on some XY axis thing that I can't actually see from this perspective. Because there is no up or down in this area. Like there's more lights in here than I'm used to seeing. Yeah, I think once we get to the yeah, once we get to the eggs, then we're semi-safe. That's a fine. We will... Is it, there only one skill? Yeah, there's only one skill. Gunner here. And here's the vessel. Excellent. Vessel located. Vessel, location, get. Ooh. I'm just 
I gonna take a look look here? I don't think. Yeah. You never see any of these doors open other than the main door. Which I guess makes sense. Let's grab that. I don't know if I need to grab it, but for the ship log update, I might as well. Okay, let's stop spinning around like crazy. I can't put this on the ground right now either. So we know the vessel coordinates, we just need to get the warp core here. Now I can mark this in my ship's log. I can easily get here. There, it is possible to get here without marking it in your ship's log and without having it in your ship's log and doing it all in the first loop. Because the locations of everything in Dark Bramble are fixed. It's not that obvious that that's the case because it's so confusing. A lot of people assume that it's procedurally generated or randomized or something like that. Let's go. Oh. Oh, it actually tells you when untranslated red text is remaining. It's actually... that's... that is a good feature to have. Hmm. And you know my clans that can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found the black rock suns are fa fairly stable. And life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Anna, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear it from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any message. I'm beginning to worry. Bromi, that is unsettling. It reminds me of the that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Escal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Escal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskal's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clan for a long time. But in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hysop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend. <laughs> we have feared you were gone. Not yet we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright st spark star system exploded. And it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved to hear your clan is- I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be ex extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Yeah. I already know all this story, but it's still kind of neat. So, here's- where they found the Eye of the Universe signal. Felix, I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. Eskel, this is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. 
Eskel, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? Eskel, we can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly, and we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. Felix, I understand. Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. And then the rest is... You know, as it is. As they say, history. Okay, so... I can get here now. It's easy- well, it's easier to get here now. Let's meditate. And... Do our final loop to see what the end of the game looks like now. I wonder if there'll be any significant changes, or it'll just be... If it'll just be adding the prisoner to our... our... group. Our band. It could be something as simple as that. If it is, I'd be satisfied with that. moon again. Alright. So we need to go... Oh, we need to go this way. I've done this trip a couple of times. this elevator is a little more powerful than it normally is. Let's just land beside it. Then either our ship will end up on one of the platforms, or it won't. I'm good either way. Detect hazards. Test the environment. See beyond the horizon. sure what angle the twin towers that the twins towers appear at but we'll we'll find it once the sun tower comes up thought about maybe visiting Ryback after all that, but you know what? It's fine. I feel like he maybe wouldn't really have anything new to say. 
words? How would I, how would I explain all of that in, in, uh, in context, in universe? Ooh. should be yes. Probably used up way more fuel than I really needed to. That's okay. disorienting when you look at all of the things, all of the planets moving around. Almost revealed. We might as well just. I'm just gonna go back to my ship, and top off my oxygen and fuel, and then we're good to go. It should be almost fully uncovered by the time we get back. Hmm. Oh shoot! Last track of my path. Go down this way. Okay, that's the sun. We want to go this way. For some reason, I was thinking it was. I remember it as being west, but or I remember it as being east, not west. Never visited Solanum. I just realized that. Can we do that real quick? Where's our ship? Ship's that way. How could we, how quick can we do that? Can we still do that and then still finish the game in the same loop? Some foam makes me roam. Where's the moon? Ah, oh, there we are. Let's not ex escape the atmosphere by accident. 
Okay. Oh, I just saw it for a second there. There we are. Okay, so... We want to go for Giant's Deep. I think that's the best way to do it. Emergency Scout Recall activated. Oh, interesting. One idea to oh. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Now we want to go to I don't know if Timber Hurrick is the best for it, but that's how I like to go there. I feel it's like appropriate. Are okay. Oh, I was on it. There we go. No. There we go. This might not be the most efficient way to do it, but heck. this is the way I ha how I remember doing it. Accidentally reach escape velocity. Hey, let's just have a quick chat. Who are you? Ah, uh, pick up. There you go. Man, this was so cool when you first do it. It's still pretty cool. Those. These are the two tenets of the Know My Philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Simple and sweet. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if you if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however, perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. the eye of the universe now. Although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it, the eye is older than the universe itself and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around the star system. We 
Many in our, my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system, only to then vanish from them so completely. Which is ironic, given the new context we have for why the signal only appeared so briefly. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself, someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis. I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. All right, Solana buddy. We're gonna bring this to a conclusion. I'll see you on the other side. Timber Hearth now. Let us find the eye shrine, or the, the moon shrine, rather. Let's get back to the Ember Twin. Hopefully my ship is there. for my ship. Maybe I'll have to do another one more loop. Okay, so if I if I pop out of the atmosphere here, either my ship will be there waiting for me. I'm not even wait. Okay, there they are. Where my ship is just gone. That's that then. Yeah, my ship's just gone. It got quantum mooned. Any other planets nearby? Just the brittle hollow. I am moving. I'm not moving towards it. I'm gonna end up moving past it. Yeah. Unless I do this, I might get close enough that, oh no, now I'm, now it's passing me by. My velocity's gonna go negative, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to catch up. All right, meditation time. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but when I press escape, it seems to like double press it sometimes. Anyway, we'll meditate, and then this will be our final loop. Now that we spoke with Solanum. I don't think it's possible to go to the final... The, the Eye of the Universe without... Having the other travelers visit you there. Because I think... It's kind of assumed that you're familiar with the other travelers... From before the events of this game. Getting killed by ghost matter. I feel like there's somebody else I should be able to talk to about everything that's going on. There might be, but you know what? That's fine. I'm ready to put this to bed. take a nap, doze off by a fire. I think I'm good without doing that, though. Is that the sound of me starting to fall back to the atmosphere? It was a funny noise, but 
Anyway. Well, we could go to Trick's camp, actually. minutes or something like that. Ooh. Ooh, that is a longer fall than I expected. I was not pressing the right buttons. I have a question for you. Yeah, we're not going to do that to him. I'm not sure four minutes is the right time, but that's what we'll go for anyway. Four minutes at the right time, if you're starting off at Timber Hearth. yourself any more trouble. That hurt us a lot, actually. That could have killed us. Anything else that needs repairing? Nope. We're good to go. Alright. Passing the sun station tower. We're probably here just in time. Ooh. is active. Removing the core will disable the Ashwin project. I wonder what happens if you take the warp core to the stranger. You can't do any stuff that requires you to hold the artifact if you're holding the warp core, I'm assuming. interesting if there was like a way to plug the warp core into s some systems that the owl men use my grave the vessel 
Quantum Moon, Sixth Location, Ash Twin Project. Is it just me or does that look different? No, no, that's the same as before, I think. Okay, we got all of... Let's look. Slide reel that shows a strange vault being encased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. Nearly all of the slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Oh. The vessel. We'll mark that. attention yet. How could they have noticed? Oh. <clears throat> Once we get to the egg cluster, then we should be cool. I don't know why I'm being quiet right now. Well, it's late at night, so it's reasonable for me to be quiet. Okay. Oh, we got one of them's- one of their attention. Okay, ooh. 
There's our sun. It's still relatively yellow. We're early on in early enough in the loop. I think at this point I'm not expecting the ending to be drastically different. Let's find out. Gravity is way too high. I'm not going to bother boosting. This is going to be walking. We're going to do some walking simulator stuff. It's been a while since I've done this myself. Watching people play it on YouTube, it's not the quite it's not quite the same as just being doing it yourself and seeing it in front of your screen. Being in control of what's happening. No matter how horrifying it might be. Or how creepy it might be. This is the part that always gets me. You should get random structures appearing out of nowhere. you can use to like I forget how it's supposed to work exactly but like you bounce off a crater one of the little pock marks in a certain way it'll flip you right back up oh I can't go here descriptions of what quantum foam would look like. <laughs> Outer Wilds Ventures was founded by Feldsbar, Goss, and Slate, and Hornfels to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. I always find it funny that Esker's name is, like, there in the corner, but it's not part of the description, and he, he's probably not being shown here in the picture, either. <clears throat> the Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Hearthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. We never figured out how they died. Oh. Yeah, because I haven't been to the interloper in this playthrough. I wonder if that changes the ending. Changes that bit of dialogue, but it never changed the ending, I don't think. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in the violent supernova. The radio tower on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from the deep space satellite and house some of the last ever photos taken of the entire solar system. One of these photos revealed the existence of an invisible ring world inhabited by a species whose presence in our solar system predated even the Nomai. The species traveled from a nearby star system in search of the Eye of the Universe, but, horrified by what they had discovered, decided to block the eye signal so that no one else would ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision, and was able to briefly release the eye signal back into space, before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for, his for this betrayal.
see. Yeah. And to actually use the telescope. Just heard a little weird clipping sound like I had physically been pushed against the wall as that happened during the zoom out. looks cool. Do you hear music? sure you will need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. Solano? That's the prisoner. I'll start with help. Feldspar. Get ready to close your eyes. so bad when I got to this my first time ever. Did I pass by Gabros? I must have. Burke in the ancient glade. It's always dark. Yeah, I must have passed by the first part. I 
Let's get Solanum. a picture of the no mine down here. Well, he has... I don't know if it's here or not, but... Oh, that's nice. That's some of the villagers here that didn't come otherwise. That's a little sad. <laughs> That's super creepy. Ooh, that kind of Ooh, that kind of got to me. It was like, do I want to move? Oh, he's standing back. He's not, he's not with the group. My kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of. They were terrified. It was too difficult to truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind. And you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Join us, and let's see what happens. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. The, um, not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others. Wait. Oh, he's joined us. Okay, cool. So now we're ready. Should I begin? Well, uh, we'll let the prisoner begin. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal, for how briefly I set it free. Yet, here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yes. Then it's time. Time to send our spark into the darkness. Ha <laughs> ha 
I didn't think about doing that. Shall I begin? Yes. And here we go. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Yeah, this should be good. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? This song is new to me, but I'm honored to be part of it. What do you say then? Should we go out the whole, our, whole harmonica? Aha, here goes nothing. Can't wait to play the, with the whole group again. Can I start? Yes. And of course, right back. Should I be in? Yes. shapes appear there because I feel like it's like just random objects taken from different parts of the game and just create turned into a silhouette to be placed to be textured on that I learned a lot by the end of everything the past is past now but that's you know that's okay it's never really gone completely the future is always built on the past even if we won't get to see it still it's um time for something new now even if it's over now I had a good time learning but I think the rules are about to change. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains to, is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. I'll tell you what, this has been really fun, and I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. I feel like that's confirmation that it's not really them that's here, but they're also kind of aware of that. This is us, like, us bringing our, the version of them in our mind with us. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad we stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? You cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out alright in the end, I suppose. Ah, I hope there are beasties in the next one. How long has I been, been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. How oh, beautiful. It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. longer than I realized. <laughs> One of my favorite games. 
probably my top, one of my top five of all time. I don't know if I want to say it's my absolute favorite, but man, come on, it's a good game. It's definitely up there. There's going to be aspects of this game that are going to, games already are, like, inspired by. There's a lot of, like, time loop based games, but it's not just the time loop aspect. There's other aspects, like, there's other things to really like about this game. The way it uses music, too, it's not... They're not music based puzzles, but it adds a layer of personality. A layer of, like... I don't want to say realism, but... It gives it a little extra depth, I guess. And I don't know if I got like the super, super true ending now, or if there's, you get a slightly different ending if you do all of the normal stuff. So that's possible too, but I think I'm happy to, I'm happy to set this down. Maybe I'll come back to this at some point in my own time and just tweak, like, play around with different, like, different aspects of the, the stranger. Or I'll try going through, you know, parts of the base game that I've already beaten, but I didn't go through in this playthrough. It's kind of a, it's interesting that it's, they chose the name Echoes of the Eye because that's what a lot of the whole, you know, that's what it seems like the point of the plot is. Elk Choir. Okay, they are calling them Elks. That's interesting. Unless maybe that's referring to something different. It's not referring to the, the, uh, the new aliens. Third party in middleware. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. I wonder what it's like to finish the game meeting the, the prisoner, but not meeting Solanum. It's probably pretty much the same, it's just... A couple of miss, like a couple of missing dialogue cho choices with Solonum. And that's it. It's not like that you see them interact directly. Hmm. I thought I would be finishing this tonight, but. I didn't think it'd be this late. I started a little bit later than planned too, so... Still 100% worth it though. Especially since like half the people I like to watch on YouTube and on Twitch are also into this game. So I can't watch any of them until I've beaten this DLC. Now that I have, I can go back to watching them like normal. <laughs> I don't want to get spoiled. Because personally, I got a little bit spoiled by this when I was first learning about this game from Past Airs at. And I watched his first stream on this, and I was like, okay, I'm into it. And I think I remember seeing him play through a bit of Brittle Hollow. Maybe the moon as well. Of the Adel Rock. I forget if I saw him in the, in the other locations, but I got like mildly spoiled on some of that stuff. It would have been cool to play it completely blind. And that's what I recommend to everybody, obviously. I want everyone that's interested in playing this to play it completely blind.
14.3 billion years later. I'm curious to see if this is part's any different. It probably isn't, but who knows? I think it is a little different. I don't think those rivers were there before. I could be wrong, but... Oh. Oh. And of course the scope. <laughs> oh, it's flying at the camera at a different angle this time. That's cool. I like that. And there's my mouse for some reason. But... Alright. A plus game. Don't know what else to say about that. I feel like I have a lot more thoughts, but I can't compile them right now. That's it. I'm going to put this to bed for now. Because I need to put myself to bed. Mostly. But also because I feel pretty satisfied with that. That's a good game. And it's a good feeling to have the way it goes. And I'm just going to ramble at this point. So I'll spare anyone who happens to be watching the end of this. And I'm just going to say thank you for joining me, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this game as well as I did. Because I think it's an amazing game. If this is the only way that you can enjoy it, then that's okay too. And... Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a good night. <laughs>